assalamu alaikum class how are you all students today we start exercise a review exercise of unit number 7 in review exercise means we take the review of the whole unit number 7 in which we have already we had already studied about square root absolutes equalities inequalities in review exercise first we start from the question number 4 solve each of the following and check for the extensive solution if any it's mean that we have the square root under root 2 2t plus 4 as equals to the square root t minus 1 first we take the square uh, squaring on both side after this we have answer 2t plus 4 is equals to t minus 1 Now you shift the t values at the left hand side and coefficients values at the right hand side. 2t minus t is equal to t, and minus 1 and minus 5 both have the same sign becomes minus minus 4 and minus 1 becomes minus 5. For the verifications, we put the uh, t is equal to minus 5 means we replace the value of t by minus 5. So 2 fives are 10 and plus 4. 10 minus 4 is equal to minus 6 and minus 5 and minus 1 is equal to under root minus 6. It means under root minus 6 is equal to under root minus 6, which is true. So solution set is equal to square root minus 5. If the left hand side is equal not equals to the right hand side in the verification. Then solution set not exist and it becomes empty. Now come to the part number two. Under root three x minus one minus two under root eight minus two x is equals to zero. So under root three x minus one is equals to two under root eight minus two x. Mean first we shift minus two under root eight minus two x at the right side. After this we take again squaring on both side. After this we have three x minus one is equals to four eight minus two x. Now four multiply. Inside the value which is uh, enclosed by the parentheses, four eights are thirty-two and four twos are eight. So now shift eight x at the left hand side and uh, minus one at the right hand uh, left uh, right hand side. So three plus eight eleven and thirty-two plus one thirty-three. So x is equals to thirty-three uh, divided by eleven is equals to three. So now for the verification again you put the value of three, any yani at the replacement of x, any three into three. Minus one and uh, minus two under root eight minus two x is equals to zero. Three three is our nine. Minus one is equals to two into eight minus two three is our six. So eight minus one. Nine minus one eight and minus two under root two is equal to zero. You take the factors of the eight. You need two under root two minus two is equals to two. Are uh, you? So you have the solution set. The zero. So your solution set is true for this purpose. You have to calculate the solution set value and got answer three. Now come to the absolute values. For the absolute values, you have the question number five. Absolute three x plus fourteen minus two is equal to five x. First, you shift minus two at the right side. It becomes a complete part now. Five x plus two and an absolute three x plus fourteen. For the right hand side, you have uh, there are two possibility for the addition and subtraction. So first we take three x plus fourteen for plus five x plus two, and then three x plus fourteen is equal to minus five x and minus two x. Now three x minus fifteen five x is equal to minus two x, and two minus fourteen is equal to twelve. So dividing two on both side, two ones are to six are. So x is equal to six, and minus minus cancel. Now at the next side. Uh, 3x plus 14 is equal to minus 5x minus 2. First, you shift uh, x at the left side and plus 14 at the minus 14 becomes at the left hand side, right hand side. So 3x plus 5x becomes 8x is equal to minus 16. Now divided 8 on both side, 8 ones are and 8. And two zero, so x is equal to minus two. Here we have the solution set x is equal to six and x is equal to minus two. If you want to, to verify this, so um, same like. Uh, In, in as we have done in question number four, uh, you put these values back to your question for the verification at the replacement of the x is equals to six or x is equals to minus two. यानि आप इनकी verification करना चाहते हैं आप दोबारा question के अंदर put करके x की replacement six से और फिर x की value minus two से put कर सकते हैं तो आपके पास solution set खुद ब खुद आ जाएगा. इसका part number two आपका home task है. Now come to the question number six. Solve the following inequalities. Minus one by three x plus five. Less than one. Here, similarly, first uh, we um, shift uh, plus five at the right hand side, so it becomes minus five, and one minus five means minus four. Now, minus minus cancel, or their sign shift as a 
greater than and multiplying by the denominator 3 on both side after this you have x is greater than equals to 12 ye jo niche aapko line nazar aa rahi hai ye equality ki hai so solution set aapke paas kya banega x such that x is greater than equals to 12 now it's last part minus 3 less than 1 minus 2x 5 divided by 5 less than 1 here are the two possibilities here are the two signs so first we divide this question by two parts means minus 3 is less than 1 minus 2x divided by 5 and 1 minus 2x divided by 5 is less than 1 बाकी वही सॉल्यूशन के पहले 5 को आप दोनों साइड पे मल्टीप्लाई कर लें उसके बाद आपके पास आ जाएगा minus 15 less than 1 minus 2x plus 1 को इक्वालिटी के लेफ्ट साइड पे शिफ्ट कर दें तो ये minus 16 बन जाएगा और यहां पे minus 2 minus 2 और minus 16 जब डिवाइड होंगे तो ये plus 8 और greater than x बना देगा इसी तरह यहां पे 1 minus 2x less than 5 भी 5 पहले बोथ साइड पे मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे उसके बाद आ जाएगा 1 minus 2x less than 5 so, सबसे पहले यहां पर भी आप लोगों ने क्या करना होगा -2x इधर ही रहेगा प्लस 1 इक्वालिटी के साइड पे शिफ्ट हो जाएगा सो so, -2x इज लेस देन 4 सो so, अब आपके पास 2x ग्रेटर देन -4 आपके पास आ गया डिवाइडिंग 2 ऑन बोथ साइड तो x इज ग्रेटर देन -2 यहां आपके पास आंसर आ गया 8 इज ग्रेटर देन x ग्रेटर देन -2 सो so, योर सॉल्यूशन सेट इज 8 इज ग्रेटर देन x ग्रेटर देन -2 आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड स्टूडेंट 